I got tool pieces, and I didn't even walk in with my tool out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King. Today is gonna be episode one of my moving vlog series, getting everything that I need for my new place. As you guys know, I just got my own apartment for the very first time. So I'm really excited to take you guys along with me and share with you guys some new experiences because I've never had to do any of this for myself before. Just knowing my way around being an adult. So if you're interested in that, just continue watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you can be notified of all of my future videos. I'm in the Walmart parking lot. I have my grandma with me. She hooked it up with the handicap parking space. Okay, so we get a good parking space right at the front of the store. Why can't you just live with me, grandma? And no. Then... <laughs> you can get in your apartment with you, huh? Yeah. We'd be like two peas in a pod. 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 <laughs> So we're done shopping at Walmart and now I'm at Target. I'm by myself now. Today was my little sister's prom so I had to go back to the house and take some photos of her before she left. And so now I am back doing my errands and I'm in the Target parking lot. So basically I spent a total of, let me look at my receipt at Walmart. Let's get the bill per, oh this is a Zaxby's receipt, that's not my Where's Walmart? So the total that I spent at Walmart today was, I got 14 items and I spent $105.67. Um, and that was just like cleaning supplies like Dawn dish soap, Lysol wipes, and I honestly forgot my toilet wipes. If you don't have baby wipes in your bathroom, I'm judging you. I feel like a lot of people that are gonna be watching this video are people that are moving into their first apartment or they don't know where to start or they're getting things for their apartment. Just so that you can have an idea of what to budget for, things of that nature. Cause I know somebody like me I look for stuff like that so yeah I spent $105.67 and now I'm about to go into Target and spend more money um, probably not as much I'm just gonna get like a broom I already have a vacuum thank goodness I, I bought a vacuum a while ago like way before I even moved out of my old apartment and it's still brand new it's actually in storage so I need to get a broom and a dustpan I may or may not go to home goods today depending on how much time I have but I went to spectrum today and I thought I had to pick up my modem for my Wi-Fi and they said, oh no, you actually ordered it and it delivered to your house yesterday. I checked my email and I so happened to miss the delivery confirmation because I thought I had to go to the store to pick it up. You guys may see like a, a little trash bag in the back. I need to drop that stuff off at Plato's Closet so I can see if I can get a, you know, a few more bones out of that. You know, every little coin counts, okay? <laughs> I don't care what anybody says because I'm gonna use all that money on this. I'm excited to also look back on this one day and be like, wow, this was me moving into my first apartment and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Okay, so I'm trying to find a broom. I feel like I went around the world trying to find a broom. Like that was the first thing that I knew I wanted to pick up and I can't find it. I'm gonna get bath mats and things like that at Home Goods even though Target has like some good ones. I just think Target is a tad bit overpriced when it comes to some of their home decor. Gosh, I hope I don't get copyrighted by the weekend. But anyways, I had to start vlogging on my cam on my phone because my camera died and all of my batteries are also dead. I really like this OXO brand from Target for like the oven mitts. This is like a silicone pot holder. So I got those and I also got this broom 
and then I got some bounce. I was gonna get this stuff from Costco, but then my dad just let me know that apparently their Costco membership expired like two days ago just so happened to expire right before i was gonna use it so um i can't they loud child they loud let me go to the other aisle hold on child they so ghetto anyways their membership still happened to expire right before i needed to use it and so i just went to target and said might as well get my tide pods because at costco you could get like double these for like pennies on the dollar but we'll just worry about that next time but then i also got this black cutting board set now i had requested something like this on my amazon wish list that i'm still not done with i need to finish that tonight so i can go ahead and post it on my close friends um but i have found this cutting board that's kind of similar because it has ridges on the edge and that's good too because when i'm cutting up my food and the juices on the food it doesn't like seep onto the counter or seep to the other side of the cutting board which is something that i really like so that i don't get sick also so I was just about to leave, but then I saw this simple human trash can and I really want one. Not for no 120 bones. See, I wanted one because I saw Kayla K Cat one and I liked the way hers looked and I was just like, mm, I wonder if I can get one. Not for no $120. Uh -uh. We're gonna get that next time. I have a trash can anyways, it's just in storage. That is pretty much everything that I can think of off the top of my head that I can get right now at Target. Ooh, I'm walking by some candles. I may get a candle. I'm trying to focus on what I need right now. Oh, there's a Virgo candle. I wonder what I smell like. Hmm, that's interesting. Have y'all ever tried these Zodiac candles from Target? I've seen them posted on Instagram, but I mean, they're not, they're not all that in my opinion, but I do want to get something just so I can have like a nice little, candle to have for my first day in i'm obsessed with these because my color scheme in my new place is going to be like nude and black if i could have maybe like one on each side or maybe if i can just get one of these and they're only 60 bones like that's not bad should i get one of these today let me think about it child i ended up spending more money than i did at walmart at target and i knew that was gonna happen i knew that was gonna happen i feel like investing in good home sense is a need in my in my opinion like i feel like buying glade plugins is a need because i don't want my house to stink i think what ultimately made my total so high was because of the lamp the floor lamp that i got at target was 60 bones and i can put that in my room apparently janae has the same one she was on facetime with me when i was in the store so that's why i didn't record she said that she has the same one in her room and it goes up to like the length of her shoulder so it's kind of short so if i want a lamp that's like taller than that for the living room i'll have to like look somewhere else she said maybe i should try ikea but i don't feel like going to ikea tonight one i don't really got time like that two is all the way on the other side of Orlando, like all the way by like Millennium Mall. And I would have to get on I-4 for that. And I'm not trying to get on I-4. Oh my, God. no, like, no. If y'all don't know what I-4 is, it's probably the most busiest, dangerous highway in the country. But right now I'm in the Home Goods parking lot. There's a Bells here. There's an Ulta here. Um, I'm not gonna go in there because I know I'll spend unnecessary amount of money. There's a Hobby Lobby over there, but I'm not gonna go there tonight. I'll save that for when I really wanna start decorating. But Home Goods, I wanted to come here specifically to get bath towels, you know, little bath accessories, like a, a shower rack. I saw this really nice cookware set in Target, but it was like $130 and I was like, mm, ciao. I'm gonna see if maybe like my dad can give me that as like a little housewarming gift or maybe my mom. I called my mom today. I still haven't showed her my place because she lives all the way in Daytona. So hopefully she can make her way down here so she can see my apartment, help me decorate. My mom actually used to work at Pier 1 when I was in elementary school and part of middle school. My mom has like a really good aesthetic eye and she's really good at decorating. So hopefully she can come down here and help me decorate because I feel like we have similar tastes. And let me go ahead and get like some clips for my TikTok. Somebody give me some Somebody tell me the answers. Maybe you isn't the answer. Maybe you isn't. Maybe I'm telling myself that. There ain't nothing that'll change that. What could it be?
Okay, I finally made it to my house and now time for the really big work. Getting all of my stuff out of here and I don't wanna be out too late because I'm already getting tired and I already have a big day tomorrow moving in all of my stuff completely and starting my new life. Woo! That was so much work. I don't really have that much time right now. I'm not gonna go through everything that I got today from Home Goods and Target, but my Wi-Fi got delivered and I think my landlord probably brought that in when she was here the other day. And then there's my skincare fridge that I, I actually have that in my dad's garage and then I just brought it here. And then my studio lights. I actually got the six foot one because I'm gonna need it to clean my patio that's out there. I have a screened in patio and it goes really high and I'm gonna need it to get in those corners. I also brought my air fryer that I also brought with me. I've been had that. Like I said, I'll go into detail sometime tomorrow about everything that I got. Now that I think about it, I forgot quite a few things. So I'm gonna need to go back to the store tomorrow sometime. I need to reschedule the U-Haul to be picked up a little bit later because my dad doesn't get off work until 11.30 and I have the U-Haul scheduled for pickup at 12 and he's not gonna be home by then. So I'm gonna need to push that back some. He also gave me two fire sticks as like a little mini housewoman gift. One of them is jailbroken and one of them isn't. So I need to figure that out. That's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today and I'll be checking in with you guys tomorrow for the big move-in day. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is surreal. Honestly, I wanna plug in my Glade plugins now so I can get this smell out of here. It has like a, like someone's been cooking in here kind of smell and I don't like it. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. y'all so i am finally in my new place now i didn't spend the night here because we didn't actually get to finish everything that we needed to do we did not finish setting up my bed and it's not going to be in this position either so it's actually going to be facing like this way so that my closets are on the other side and then i'm going to have my tv i really want my tv mounted like on the wall like right there i spent the night at my dad's house because originally we were going to set up my office and everything so that i can start working from home here we just weren't able to finish setting up my bed and like getting everything that i need like groceries we had to haul all of my work equipment back to his house and that was not easy ended up leaving my keyboard so i had to come all the way back here to get my keyboard and then on top of that my mouse is broken so i gotta go to the store and buy another mouse and my phone is blowing up instagram dms emails google chats i'm just like girl leave me alone look at how much space that i have compared to the amount of hangers that i bought i mean i don't really have that many clothes but still side note there's supposed to be like a little mini door right there the boiler room for the ac and such and it hasn't delivered yet so that's why there's a curtain there that's it for right now i'm gonna go and handle what i need to do go to work and i'll check in with you guys a little bit later what's up y'all so i am back at walmart i'm gonna get a couple things before i go back to my house because tonight is the night that i'm anticipating to actually spend my first night at my new apartment so um, i need to get a couple groceries and then oops excuse me do I have a good cart? I think I do. Every time I go to Walmart, I always get the janky ass cart. But this time I think I got a good one. I gotta get a couple groceries and then I had to get one of the spare air mattresses from my dad's house. And then I need to get some sheets because I don't have any sheets. All my stuff from my old apartment I have to throw away. So I'm, I'm really starting from scratch. If you guys don't know this, these are actually like my favorite wipes ever. Like if you don't have these wipes, you're missing out. Um, always a staple in my house i think as far as body wash i should be straight but i do want to get like an extra one just in case they're like clean out of everything i may just get like a small bottle of this just in case yeah i should be good with body wash because necessary sent me a body wash too but i don't like using that too much i only want to use that for special occasions also i got these led lights i had asked somebody for help nobody really knows like 
about light bulbs so hopefully that isn't yellow because if it is I'm gonna have to return it because you guys know I need like white light for when I do my filming and stuff in the bathroom it's all about the content right <laughs> but I just got a new apartment I'm gonna leave the floor away walk around this bitch naked nobody can tell me she <laughs> This is my first night in. This is my first night in my apartment. Wait, is this real life? Like, is this is this mine? Like, I just, I I still can't believe it. Let me turn these lights off, child. This power bill, child. Let's see what these lights off. I don't know about it. <laughs> but I'm just happy and blessed that I have something that is finally mine. Something that I've worked really, really hard for. I prayed for this day. Like I really did. And it, it was to the point where, I don't know, like part of me thought that it would never happen. And that's probably why I'm struggling with like accepting that this is real, you know? It's an amazing feeling like finally being alone and finally getting to a place where I can learn more about myself and authentically grow 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 hey y'all welcome to the next day today's gonna be the last day that i vlog for moving vlog episode one and i want to update y'all on my first night staying at my new place okay don't judge me or judge me i don't care i slept on a depleted air mattress flat stomach on flat flat like I borrowed an air mattress from my dad's house because my grandma is sleeping on one currently. And so there is an extra one that was stored in a box. And so I need a one because I don't have a mattress right now. I'm waiting on one to come. Little did I know, there's a hole right here. And I tried taping it <laughs> and it didn't work because in the middle of the night, I was sitting here and I'm like, why is my back touching the floor? And then I realized, oh my gosh. Like, I'm like, okay whatever but side note i got this six foot swiffer duster which i'm hella excited to use after i'm done filming this video and wrapping it up for today i'm actually gonna film an extreme clean with me so i'm excited for you guys to see that for moving vlog episode two because i'm gonna clean this whole place top to bottom that's why i got one of these big things because my patio my screened in patio is very tall and i kind of noticed a little cobweb it, i wouldn't say it's an actual spider web it's more so like a web that was there that collected dust like in the top corner so i'm like let me go ahead and and get that but i'm way too short so i had to get one of these got a swiffer wet jet it's multi-surface but it's mainly for different kinds of wood surfaces like real wood or vinyl wood i think these floors are vinyl wood floors because they're very slick like i could slip and fall my whole apartment is wood like there's no carpet in here and in the kitchen is tile i also got these glade plugins which smell really good the cashmere woods i only bought two actual plugins but i need to get more because i didn't realize kind of how spacious this place is like i only have one in the kitchen and then i have one in my room I also want to move this dresser over to my window for my filming backdrop because I need to film my life update video that I've been needing to film. Let's just say that. Look at this, y'all. Y'all are going to laugh. Ciao. I bought these hangers from Home Goods and I'm going to need to buy more because look at all this extra closet space. I mean, granted, it's not like I have like that many clothes because I still am getting rid of stuff. But still, like this is not, this isn't even gonna cut it. So I wanna say each pack is 25. So this is 50 hangers. I didn't realize that my closet space was that big. So I'm probably gonna need to buy maybe like two, three, four of them. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe uh, just a few more. Um, and I don't know whether if I want this to be my shoe and accessory closet or if I want the other closet to be my shoe and accessory closet, I don't know. I don't know. I've never had two closets before, so I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all that I wanted to show for right now. I'm going to prop you guys up so you can watch me set up the lamp. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long because I'm not Bob the Builder or Handy Mandy.
So that's canceled because I got tool pieces and I didn't even walk in with my tool out. So I have no screwdriver, no <laughs> All of that's at my dad's house, I assume. I had a box of tools, but I don't know what happened to it. I think it's probably either still in storage or it's at my dad's house. Y'all just gonna have to wait for moving vlog episode three because evidently I ain't got no tools. So I, I can't even build none of this stuff. <sighs> That's okay though. Everything's not gonna be perfect when you first move into your place, especially your first place. So I feel like this is a realistic moving vlog. I, I be feeling like all the other moving vlogs that I watch, they're just so aesthetically pleasing and just so perfect. And everybody just got everything together. That is not realistic. With that being said, I guess this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a long time coming. I've just been alone with my thoughts and quiet, enjoying my own space, and just really thinking to myself just how far I've come. I'm super blessed and super thankful that I'm sharing this moment with you guys, everyone that supports me. Um, just super super just thankful for a while i didn't think that this would be possible don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on a single video in this movie vlog series or any video in general and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching i'll see you later